The first product on our list is Jet 719500. The Jet 719500 features a versatile sliding headstock and a positive locking wedge system that reliably holds your workpieces in place. It's a powerful, freestanding model that would serve enthusiasts in their garages as well as it would pros in a small shop. This product is available on Amazon for $2,300. This product is rated with 5 stars from 25 customer reviews, a customer said. Great lathe. Nice setup compared to my old shopsmith. Be prepared for electrical trouble if you have a GFI breaker on the power source you're using. The machine causes a surge even before the motor begins to turn and the GFI breaker will switch off power. I rewired the outlet to a general non-GFI outlet and turned it on. It hums like a song now. Looking forward to making dream projects with this beautiful machine. Another happy customer said, I am going to work with wood when I retire, soon. This is the most special of all the equipment I've purchased so far for that purpose. I did a lot of research to make sure I got what I thought I would need and like. So far, I love it. I'm having fun learning to turn wood again. Even my son and grandson are excited about it and have used it to practice up for a serious project or two. It comes with a couple of live centers, a small face plate, one tool rest, and a knockout rod. I added a couple more smaller tool rests, a chuck, and of course, gouges. It was straightforward to put together, but the weight was a challenge. I won't be putting it on wheels, nor do I think it should be on wheels. I am looking forward to that day when I can spend time turning wood. The number 2 is Rikon 70100 Mini. The large capacity Rikon 72100 Mini features a 12 inch swing and 16 inches between centers, making it possible to work on big pieces without taking up too much space. You can also add one or more bed extensions, allowing for even greater versatility. This product is available on Amazon for $500. Check out the link in the YouTube description below. There are 63 reviews which average rating is 3.9 stars for this product, a customer said. Have used lathe so far for turning pins. Operation is smooth and quiet and more than capable. Have not used for larger projects as I'm new to turning but will seemingly be up for most mid-level tasks. Protective cover that covers headstock and belts doesn't seem to close securely but hasn't affected the operation of the machine. Easy to set up and use. Another happy customer said. Haven't had the chance to use every feature of this nice lathe yet, but so far it works like a charm. Setup was quick and easy. Less than 20 minutes from out of the box to turning a practice piece. Packing oil, grease on ways was minimal. A light wipe and cleaned up. Centers right on. Hefty for a mini lathe, all bolted down for safety, but I've been using it without it being bolted down, and it doesn't budge. Plenty of power, too. So far no complaints. Very pleased. An unhappy customer said, Rikon 70 100 1 2 by 16 inch mini lathe. I received the lathe earlier than expected, which was nice. It seems well built, material wise. I turned a quick piece and I regret not having a knob or variable speed dial. I left the belt at the fastest setting. This is MT2 and everything seems smooth out of the box. There are some weird assembly defects. See attached pictures. I will update you after I turn a few batches of pieces. The belt door was bent. A screw wasn't set straight. The points are off by a hair. The next product is Laguna Tools Molarevo 1836. The impressive two horsepower motor on the Laguna Tools Molarevo 1836 can rev its spindle up to 3,500 RPM across two sets of variable speeds. 
The lower of those settings achieves remarkable torque for shaping particularly dense wood pieces. This product is available on Amazon for $2,799, check out the link in the YouTube description below. This product is rated with 4.5 stars from 19 customer reviews, a customer said. Absolutely love this lathe, high quality. Another happy customer said. Went together with ease, have turned six bowls and a couple of platters, powers and accuracy is awesome. Glad I bought this. An unhappy customer said. Put lathe together, plugged in and a pop sound and smoke boiled from the Delta Power Converter. Did not even turn the power on. Called Laguna. They sent me a new headstock a week later. Laguna is not very good at communicating with the shipping company, ABF Freight. That is a whole other story. Now the new head stock came with a broken switch plate and has a wobble. Deciding on returning or waiting another week for another new head stock. The technician at Laguna said that this was not the first complaint. Very frustrating. The number 4. Powermatic 3520B. The premium Powermatic 3520B is a serious piece of equipment from one of the most respected companies in the business, and it sells at a price that reflects that. Those who can afford it will get a beast of a machine with an impressive degree of adaptability. This product is available on Amazon for $4,982, check out the link in the YouTube description below. There are 40 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 5 stars, a customer said. Just received my lathe and moved the pieces down to my shop in the basement. In previous posts no one knew the weights of the individual pieces. The big pieces are heavy. The lathe bed is approximately 200 pounds. The head stock is approximately 150 pounds. Each leg is approximately 85 pounds. The tail stock without the duplicator hardware is approximately 46 pounds. The banjo with no tool rest is approximately 28 pounds. When you attach the legs to the lathe bed you now have a unit that weighs approximately 370 pounds. If you follow the directions and turn the lathe bed over and attach the legs, that means you need to lift that 370 pounds. To stand the lathe up. I installed block and tackle in the ceiling to help pick the unit up. Unless you are really in shape you will need help to put the head stock back on the lathe bed. Even if you are the Hulk there is a difference between lifting 150 pounds and controlling it. I had problems with the locking cam being stuck in a tilted position preventing it from sliding on to the lathe bed properly. With a second person too. Another happy customer said. This is our first lathe. We read many reviews online about buying too small of a lathe on the first purchase. I was pretty sure we both enjoy it and didn't want to deal with buying a small lathe and outgrowing it quickly. Many experienced turners I asked agreed and said in the long run it would cost me around the same to upgrade in the future. They also said this would hold its resale value. I called the two main local woodworking stores and they suggested I buy it due to the price, $500 off and free shipping at the time of my purchase. They said they could match the price but would have to charge me a few hundred bucks to get the 700 pounds beast to my house. It was delivered on time within their delivery window and the driver had a pallet jack so it was easily placed in the garage. Setup was easy but does require a second person at minimum to set it upright. 
Once in the final position I used a floor jack to slightly raise it and adjust the leveling feet. My final distance from the wall to the widest base point. The next one is Jetwood JWL 1015. The Jetwood JWL 1015 puts professional quality machinery in the price range of the amateur woodworker. Its sturdy steel construction and extra wide feet provide excellent stability, and it's impressively quiet during operation. This product is available on Amazon for $500. Check out the link in the YouTube description below. This product has average 4.2 stars from more than 44 customer reviews, a customer said. Very nice mini lathe. Does what it's meant to do. Another happy customer said. I bought this for my husband. I have no clue what this is, but he is super happy with it. Took it to the basement the day it was delivered and used it right away. I am happy he is happy slightly smiling face. The next product is. Nova 71118 Comet E. The Nova 71118 Comet 2 is one of the most effective small options available. Its 3 quarters horsepower, variable speed motor can turn at rates anywhere from 250 to 4000 RPM which, along with an adjustable bed extension, makes this a highly adaptable machine. The price is around $547, check out the product link in the YouTube description below. The average rating of this product is 4.1 stars with more than 124 customer reviews, a customer said. I'd been using a cheap Harbor Freight lathe for years until I was able to save for this. It's worth every penny. Zero vibration without being bolted down. No tools needed for belt changes. Live centers. Perfect alignment. Quiet. Loads of available accessories. The variable speed works like a charm. Larger clearance than most comparable models. I've been using it almost every day for months and it performs perfectly. Can't ask for anything else. Another happy customer said. I purchased this lathe a couple of months ago to make yarn bowls and the like for the local knitting community. I wanted more than the one half HP I was seeing elsewhere, and quality is a huge factor for me, as is space. This lathe met all the requirements, and didn't charge me an arm and a leg. Though I see it going for $1,100 right now, I paid less than $500 just earlier this year. The HP is a tad low, but still plenty for me to do my work, I just take lighter cuts when hollowing. I also purchased the coupler and grinder attachment, making sharpening my tools quick and easy. This is a great lathe for beginners and intermediate turners alike. Though, if you plan on going full-time professional, you may need a larger lathe with more horsepower, and probably a 220 volt circuit. An unhappy customer said. Poorly made, broke within the first few minutes, you would think that it being a good brand that it would be good but this was horrible, waited six weeks for delivery, then once arrived I followed the directions and let run for 30 minutes and started to test the lathe I put the face plate on testing the threads and when I went to take off using the spindle lock pin it broke instantly and I fell downwards, so that the spindle pulley in index wheel has notches that hold the index locking pin which holds the headstock to remove face plates or chucks and this is the this is the only way to hold the headstock in place unless you make something to hold it and not use what was built onto the lathe. Online it says the notched made of cast steel but this is definitely plastic, so it is very poorly made unfortunately, oh will live and learn so several months later after dealing with Nova who is awful by the way I eventually got a new spindle index pulley wheel being that this lathe has a warranty, only had to wait two months for it to. The next one is. Jet 1221 vs. Those seeking to get serious about their craft who can't afford an enormous investment would do well to consider the Jet 1221 vs. 
It's noteworthy for its innovative, ratchet-style belt tension system and precise speed control. This product is available on Amazon for $849, check out the link in the YouTube description below. The average rating of this product is 4.3 stars with more than 191 customer reviews, a customer said. Brand new turner here. So far, I've made a couple of file handles and started a bowl. More experienced turners may have other views, but since I see a lot of them using Jet 1221 VS lathes in their YouTube videos, I figure they must like theirs as much as we like ours, and watching them turn is what got us interested in doing it ourselves. Pros, solidly built, hefty cast iron, spur and live center line up dead on, easy to move drive belt to change rotational speed ranges, it is so quiet when in operation, tail stock and tool rest base move easily, lock in place easily, and stay put, no slipping, excellent user's manual, I know most of us don't like reading the manual, but this one is packed full of good information, and even has a few bits of subtle dry wit cons, too heavy for me to move alone, which is also a pro, but if nobody else is home, I can't shift this, costly, though in the long term, we are hoping this is the only lathe we'll ever buy, so there is that. Another happy customer said. All in all a decent lathe, but a bit of a hassle getting the right extension with the proper leg set to fit. Decided to call Jet to get things sorted out, and whoa, dot not a very good experience dealing with them, hence the four stars. I could have avoided them for help, and maybe you should. An unhappy customer said. The Jet 1221 VS wood lathe ordered from Amazon is evidently not a quality machine. After receiving my first lathe, I immediately discovered a loud noise in the headstock which increased with the RPMs, suggesting a defective bearing. Jet tech support could not help with this problem, so I returned the lathe to Amazon. Thinking I merely had bad luck with the first one, I re-ordered the same lathe in hopes of receiving one that was not defective. Upon arrival, the second lathe had the same presumed defective headstock bearing, performing in a manner identical to the first one. I returned this lathe back to Amazon as well, who graciously refunded me the full amount and covered the cost of the return shipping both times, no questions asked. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.